The FBI says it is investigating numerous bomb threats and swatting incidents targeting Trump administration nominees, including Northern New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. Stefanik was re-elected to her seat representing New York's 21st district, but was quickly announced as president-elect Donald Trump's nominee to represent the U.S. at the United Nations. According to a statement from her office, Stefanik and her family were driving home to Saratoga County from Washington, D.C., when police warned them there had been a bomb threat to their personal residence. We are told state, county, and U.S. Capitol Police all responded. At this hour, we don't know if the threat was legitimate, but we do know some of Trump's other cabinet appointees received similar threats. In a statement, a spokesperson from the Trump Vance transition team called the threats un-American and said intimidation and violence will not deter them. NBC 5. Yes, it is Wednesday, Wednesday, November the 27th of 2024. Happy pre-Thanksgiving. And let's say it together. Praise our God from whom our blessings flow. Well, do you believe this? Pearson, what do you mean? The FBI and the American authorities, they reported it. It's got to be true. It's just got to be. Yeah. Mr. Stefanik of New York, on the way home, kids in the car, she gets the call, bomb threat. Man, <laughs> I'm thinking, am I going home? Or did she get some other kind of threat? So many threats. It's a... People, this is the video whereby when I get to showing you these numbers, you're going to be like, man, what else are they going to come up with? You feel me? What else are they going to come up with? I mean, here it is the 27th, a Wednesday. This is the day. That at, what time did Joe Biden say? At 4 a.m., Israel is supposed to stop attacking Hamas and vice versa. And it's going to be peace just in time. Sit back and gobble us from Turkey. So the violence stops over there, we pray. And now it's intensifying over here through the media. Just can't get no peace. But it wasn't just Mr. Stefani. Listen to this. Multiple Trump picks have been targeted by violent bomb threats and swatting. That according to the Trump transition team. No injuries have been reported. Brian Yenis is live from West Palm Beach, Florida, with the latest on all of this. We're beginning to get a little more. Was she quiet? What happened? It just went quiet. Have been threatened at least since Tuesday night. And then we now know the identities of at least five of those appointees and nominees that have received those threats. We begin with Trump's pick for CIA director John Ratcliffe, then his nominee for Defense Secretary Pete Hegseth, Brooke Rollins, his pick for Agriculture Secretary, and his nominee for the Environmental Protection Agency, Lee Zeldin, who says a pipe bomb threat was sent to his family with a pro Palestinian theme message and his pick for United Nations Ambassador Elise Stefanik. Stefanik is Trump's nominee, like I said, to be at the UN. Her office says a bomb threat was made against Stefanik and her family. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. All of a sudden, it didn't play. We have one more. Then I'm going to really go hard on this thing. It's crazy, right? Several of President-elect Donald Trump's cabinet and administration picks have been targeted. I did want to pull up this ex post from Caroline Leavitt. She is the spokesperson. I'm going to read it to you right now. It says, quote, last night and this morning, several of President Trump's cabinet nominees and administration appointees were targeted in violent, un-American threats to their lives and those who live with them. These now, this is what we got. We got the same thing here. All this going on, Trump cabinet nominees appointees targeted with violent, un-American threats. You know, Elon Musk made a joke about three or four weeks ago, like, hey, 
Nobody's threatening uh, the Kamala camp. People, I learned about propaganda, had to be over 40 some years ago. This kind of falls in line with it. And they're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. They gotta have this, this atmosphere. Gotta have it. Let me just get to the point here. Look at this here. This happened Tuesday, 1126 of 2024. And here's Trump's last birthday, 614 of 2024. The difference is 165 days ago. And why did you pick Trump's birthday? Well, he he's the one who's in the center of all this. Those are his picks, right? Okay, so it was 165 days ago. Okay. June 14th, 1946. That's when Trump was born. Y'all know the answer. 165th day of the year is June 14th. Come again, Pearson. The 165th day of the year is June 14th. Trump was born June 14th. The 165th day of the year. And this is 165 days from Trump's last birthday this year to yesterday, the FBI reporting all these bomb threats to almost a dozen of his selectors to be in his cabinet. People, this is just dumb. This is just outright stupid and dumb. And even if you're not a decoder, you're not looking, a lot of people are gonna stumble upon this stuff and say, you know what? The wool is being pulled over our eyes. I'm gonna say allegedly, but they're gonna be like, look, look at this. And there's this guy named Pearson on, on YouTube. He's been saying this stuff for years. And you don't wanna get thrown out of the, you know, house on Thanksgiving, but all your family and friends are there and you, you're like, look at this. What are the odds? And then you show them another video. Then you show them another one. Then they think you're crazy. Then they really think that you're just losing it. Then they're thinking that's all you think about. <laughs> I get it. Word of advice. If you're going to do this at Thanksgiving, dinner, or Christmas, make one your limit. And then just go talk about sports. Just plant the seed. But if your wife give you the side eye, don't even bring it up. <laughs> but people, this is dumb. This is insulting. Then look at this. This is yesterday when the FBI said they got all this information. And this is 10-7 of 2025. That is the, what? Anniversary of the day that Hamas hit Israel because they hit them on 2023. But if we use 2025, since they got peace, the difference is 45 weeks. You mean, wait a minute, Pearson, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I understand this. All these threats made on Trump's administration to be. And one of the threats, or a few of the threats, had Middle Eastern connections. That is, the delicate peace that they have as of yesterday, and subtracted from the threats, subtracted from the Middle East situation. You get 45 weeks, yeah, you get 45 weeks. Now that's crazy, but, but look at this. That equals 315 days. If you take and add the ending date, you get 316 days. And what is 316? Just in time to start, because at midnight tonight starts Christmas season, don't it? And when we celebrate Christmas, at least some of us we do. We 
take out this time and really enjoy our friends and family, we think about John 3.16. And you think the devil don't? <laughs> he do. He does. That's why you're seeing 3.16, a lot of my decodes, and you're going to keep seeing them. Because what they're going to do is tell you. And you don't think that you're sophisticated enough to figure it out. But we know. But we know the higher truth. That the sacrifice was real. The blood was sacrifice. That was for real. That he died. That's for real. And that we long for his coming. And that he is coming. That's for real. I'm friend Shai Pearson. Just want to do a quick video to let you know. Everything you hear, you need to question it. Because Donald Trump's last birthday, subtracted from yesterday's FBI report, gives you Donald Trump's birthday. That's all I got to say about it.